Hey, today we're back in the book of Exodus chapter 14, today verses 5 through 8. Listen. When the king of Egypt was told that the people had fled, Pharaoh and his servants had a change of heart toward the people. And they said, What is this we have done that we have let Israel go from serving us? So he made his chariot ready and took his people with him. And he took 600 select chariots and all the other chariots of Egypt with officers over all of them. The Lord hardened the heart of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and he chased after the sons of Israel as the sons of Israel were going out boldly. So I told you yesterday morning here, Pharaoh was going to come and bring, bring along his chariots. Uh, how many chariots did the Hebrews take with them? Zero, Zed, nothing. Uh, how many, much military gear did the Hebrews have? Well, again, you know, nothing, maybe a butter knife. Uh, but here comes Pharaoh and his chariots and his horses, and you know, they've, they've had a change of mind. Oh, why did we let these people go? What, were, what, what was going on there? They've forgotten the 10 plagues. They've forgotten how God so clearly demonstrated who he was and the power he had. They've forgotten the whole issue at the beginning was, you know, Israel's my firstborn, you're oppressing them, you must let them go or else. All the firstborn of Egypt are dead now, by the way, and are they forgetting that? So anyway, there's a change of direction here. We're gonna go out and get them. We're gonna go out and bring them back and so they can provide slave labor for us again. We're gonna make them a nation of slaves again. And so it kind of seems like Pharaoh has not learned anything here. And you know, it's very hard to learn when you're obsessed with an idea, when you can't get that idea out of your mind. And Pharaoh, when you're also an enemy of God, that, that doesn't help either, does it? So Pharaoh is, is in a bad mood. Here come the people we're gonna go and get those Hebrews and bring them all back, every last one of them. There you have it. Here they come. And so now here comes the, the warriors against these Hebrews that might have a fork and a butter knife. I'm thankful at verse 8 where it says the sons of Israel were going out boldly. It's a pretty amazing thing to go out in this exodus. Remember, what are they going to do when they come up against somebody, some tribe, some people who are uh, stronger than they are? And apparently the Philistines would be stronger, so God leads them instead by the way of the wilderness. So, and yet, they're going out boldly. And now here comes Pharaoh with all of his might, not, not in a happy mood. But anyway, it's important to go out boldly. When God's on your side, it's still going to turn out to your good and to their harm. All right, let's see you tomorrow morning.